the problems on steam nozzles problem solutions because we have studied the nozzle but let us discuss one problem of the nozzles what is the problem steam is expanded in a nozzle from 10 bar to 300 degree centigrade so that means if i say this is the nozzle so nozzle can be any type so nozzle can be convergent type nozzles and nozzle can be divergent nozzles so this is the convergent type nozzles and this is the this is the convergent divergent because this is convergent part and this is the divergent part so he is asking the steam is expanded in a nozzle from 10 bar 300 degree centigrade that means so this is the entry point so this is the one point and this is the exit point for a convergent nozzle and for convergent divergent so this is the one point and this is the two point this is telling that initial pressure is that means p1 so given what p1 is 10 bar just remember p1 is 10 bar and t1 so temperature here is 300 degree centigrade and expanded so when the steam flows through this nozzle pressure falls and it is expanded to t to 2 bar so that means p2 p2 is 2 bar so p2 here p2 is 2 bar 2 bar now question is that is the nozzle is a convergent convergent nozzle or a convergent divergent nozzle so this nozzle what type of nozzle is a convergent nozzle or convergent divergent nozzle so okay it to so i to mute ra ke follow so if it is a convergent nozzle or is a convergent divergent that i have to this is the first question second question is that if the steam flow is 1 kg per second so that means steam is flowing so this is 1 kg per second then find the minimum area of the nozzle obviously i know what is the minimum area minimum area is the throat throat is the minimum area throat so he is asking the throat area of the nozzle third for third question is that find the exit velocity and the area find the exit velocity means here so this is the exit velocity when the steam is coming out so this is the v2 it is asking for the v2 and what is the velocity at the throat v star and here if it is a throat v2 and v star both will be same because this is the throat as well as the exit so this is the portions so okay so now can i erase the questions can i so i am so question is that pressure is 10 bar and 300 degree centigrade and exit pressure is 2 bar so is asking what type of nozzle so i am just clearing this one. okay now let me see so that means make let me just oh, what is the initial pressure p1 10 bar p1 300 degree centigrade and p2 p2 is 2 bar then what is my first step i will draw the hs diagram or ts diagram it is better to draw hs diagram in the problem in the problem nozzle hs diagram first step is to draw hs diagram what is the h enthalpy what is the s entropy so first i have to draw entropy and enthalpy diagram this is the my i will draw this is h and this is the s then second what i will draw then i will draw the dome so this is the shape of the dome so that means here steam plus water water plus steam here and here is the steam so this is the shape of the dome then i have to show in this here that's p1 that means the nozzle if it is a nozzle so i have to show the nozzle inlet pressure and nozzle this pressure lines so this is the pressure lines so this is the pressure lines suppose this is the 10 bar line so this line is the 10 bar line this is the p1 
this is the 10 bar line. I will show you. This diagram I will show you. So this will be the P1 line, constant pressure lines. So everywhere pressure is 10 bar. Then what is the 2 bar line? So there will be 2 bar line will be below. So this is the 2 bar line. P2 is the 2 bar line. So this is the 10 bar line and T bar. So there is another lines are there and there is another lines are there. So these are the temperature lines. So this is the temperature, there is another lines are there. So suppose this line is 300 degree centigrade line. And there is other lines of 400, 500, 600, 200 like that. But I see that 300 degree centigrade line and 10 bar is cutting this point. So this is my one that means entry point of the nozzle this is the entry point of the nozzle where, where the pressure is 10 bar and temperature is 300 degrees centigrade so so this is the p1 is 10 bar line and this is the 30 degree centigrade line both are cutting here so one is the point one is the point this is the nozzle entry point because here pressure is 10 bar and temperature is 10 300 degrees centigrade now, so pressure is dropping, pressure is dropping, then, yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, yes. I am Ashi, Ashi. Yes, yes, I'm, that I am coming, I am coming. But before that, let us see, I am coming. So, that I am question, that I am coming. So, first we, have, we should understand the HS diagram. Then we will come to that point. So because for understand for answering that question, I have to understand this one. So this is the initial point. So that means now this dropping where two bar. If there is nothing is mentioned, I will draw, I will think that it has dropped isentropically. That means it has dropped one to two. So this is my two point. So that means steam has expanded from point one to point two. Why? Because I have taken entropy is constant. Because here entropy and here entropy is constant. That is isentropically. Why I have assumed? I have assumed there is ideal. This is the ideal case and there is no losses. As there is no losses, so yes, entropy here and entropy here is same. So it has come down rightly like that. So 1 to 2. So that means I can identify. So this is my point number 2. So okay, this is my point number 2. So, so expand, that means, so in the nozzle, expansion has taken place from the P1 to P2. So, okay. And here, I can find out, I have to find out enthalpy. Because I know what is the velocity, velocity formula, root over, root over 2 into, into 1000, into H1 minus H2. So, okay. So I have to find out enthalpy. So our objective is to find out enthalpy. So enthalpy I can find out for two sources. That is from steam table, from steam table by using the steam table. Yes, 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 yes. Hello. Ha ha ha. Bolo, bolo. Yes. Huh? Huh? Exactly. Exactly. Huh? Bolo. Exactly. Huh? Huh? Bolo. Isentropically? Exactly. I am telling you. So, suppose this is the nozzle. Suppose this is the nozzle. This is the nozzle. So, okay. So, this is my point number one and this is my point number two. So, okay. this is the point number 1 and this is the point, this is the nozzle and pressure was 10 bar here and pressure here is 2 bar. I told there is no losses. If there is no losses, that means no friction. If there is no friction, that is entropy generation. There will not be entropy generation. If the process is reversible, actually if the process is reversible, this is, this is the thermodynamics law, this is the thermodynamics, thermodynamics is telling that if friction is not 
for the entropy means suppose all actually all process you have uh, studied in class 12 also there are two processes there one is the reversible process another is the irreversible process so so let me say what is the reversible process reversible process is that from 1 to 2 suppose this is the one 1 to 2 will go and again it will come back so it will 1 to 2 so this is my point number 2 so 1 to 2 will go this way and 2 to 1 will come this way so okay but in this process there will not be any heat generations there will not be any friction in that cases the process is reversible so okay but ideally no process is reversible in this world actually all processes are irreversible in this world this is the as far as thermodynamics is telling you so that's why what is happening as so as the all processes are irreversible the entropy generates and the entropy of the universe is gradually increasing so okay because what is the entropy entropy is nothing but a randomness so okay randomness if i have a randomness my efficiency will go down but if i do not have a randomness in my body mind my efficiency will increase that means my reversibility is more so entropy actually entropy denotes the randomness the randomness depends on the frictions and some other processes also so okay so up to that you know if the process is reversible then there will not be any entropy generations so it will come straight okay now so i have to find from steam table so this ent enthalpy i en enthalpy or i have to find out from steam table and from molier diagram what i will show you what is the molier diagram So I can this, I can solve this problem steam table. If I solve the steam table, so that is the analytically 